Let's take a quick look at how Business Central can help you track and manage items that require lot or serial traceability. First off, let's take a look at the configuration we can do for our lots. So I'll do a quick search for item tracking codes. These are codes you configure once in the system and then apply to specific items. We'll take a look at serial number all. So we simply gave it a name serial number all and it's our serial number specific tracking. And if we look at the edit, we see that the system allows us to define when and at what transactions we need to track the serial number of an item that's been assigned this profile. So in this case, any inventory transaction that we're going to complete, we've said we need to record which serial number is used for this particular item. We also have the ability to ask the system to insist that we record extra information against serial numbers or lots. That might be things like mill certs if you're using steel. That might be the temperature the, upon receipt if you need to record items like that. If we look at lot number, the options are very similar. The difference is lots are normally greater than quantity one. Each lot could contain multiple quantities of an item. For serial numbers, it's discrete. So for every item, there's a unique serial number. You'll notice that we could apply both serial number and lot tracking to a particular item. Perhaps the manufacturer has a production lot, but you need the serial number of each component within that lot as well. Now let's go ahead and look at an item where we've said the system needs to tra trace it. So in this case, we're going to take a look at uh, a particular item. And you'll notice here in the item tracking code, we've assigned a tracking code. So if you don't need to track lots of serial numbers against a number, you simply leave that blank. And for each num item, we could have a different number series, or for each item tracking code, we could have a different number series if we're asking the, the system to automatically create serial numbers or lot numbers. So a good example would be maybe we don't track the components of an assembly we produce, but we want to create a serial number for the completed assembly every time we complete an assembly order. So in that case, you may tell it to auto assign serial numbers. Typically lots are auto assigned for fabricated items as an example. Uh, serial numbers are automatically assigned for fabricated or assembled items. And we would typically record the vendor that we receive the material from their lot number, or their serial number, but we don't necessarily have to. We could create our own serial and lot numbers and record the vendor lot number as well. So that is that profile we looked at earlier. If we drill down into it, you'll see if we go to the edit that that's indeed the profile we had taken a look at where we're tracking all transactions for that particular item now because we've assigned that profile to this item. Now let's take a look at how that might look on a transaction that involves receiving or consuming inventory. It'll be very similar in both cases. So if I go ahead and drill into purchase orders, I see here I have a purchase order that's been created for that particular item that we looked at earlier. So our LAX001, we're ordering a quantity of five. If I go ahead and receive this particular document, I'll select post and I'll select receive. The system's going to generate an error because it knows I need to record the serial number now based on my setup. And it's going to tell me that I have to go back and record the serial number. So we see here the message, you must assign a serial number for that particular item. So we typically do that on all the transactions uh, by drilling down to the line level. 
and we'll take a look at item tracking lines. Here we have a particular line uh, for that. I have some options up here where I could tell to automatically assign serial numbers if I allow that or create uh, custom serial numbers. But for simplicity's sake here, I'll just enter in the serial numbers. And here I can see that I've received five. I still have four more that I haven't identified. So I actually will need to create, because it's a serial number, number I'll need to create multiple lines, one for each item, each, uh, each unit of that item that we're receiving. I just typed a serial number that already existed and you'll notice that the system validated that and said you can't have the same serial number twice, which makes perfect sense. And I have one remaining. I'll hit close. And now I'm ready to post that invoice. Because I have permission as a super user, I can also post uh, both receive and invoice at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in this particular case. And I've now recorded that reception. Those items are in inventory and we know the serial number of each of those particular items. Now the system also gives us tools to track the history of where a particular serial number or lot number was used. So I'm going to go ahead and search for item tracing. And we see here item tracing. So if I go into that particular screen and I select, I don't know, filter maybe based on an item I'm interested, which was our 0, 0, 0, 001, I can then ask it to trace and it's going to give me all of the transactions that relate to that particular item. So we see here, uh, in this case, we received this serial number of that item on this particular purchase receipt and we later consumed it to a job and if we had shipped that job to a customer we would see which customer it ended up with so we can always do what's called a forward and a backward trace usage to origin or origin to usage and we can always filter down if we want even further so maybe i'm interested only in that particular serial number I could specify the serial number, and now I see the transactions just related to that particular serial number. So because the system is obliging us in the case, in this case, the way we configured it, uh, when we actually consumed that serial number to a job, it forced us to record which serial number we were using, and now we have full traceability throughout the system. And that represents a quick look at some of the functionality related to lots and serial numbers available in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central.